Good morning. Welcome to day 54 of my Munro challenge. Today, big day, I'm walking route 61. It's been an awful forecast for the last almost two weeks. Um, there's a bit of a gap this morning, so we've got a good morning and I think the weather's coming in this afternoon. So I'm going to attempt the South Glenshiel Ridge. So I've got an option of four Munros and if the weather holds seven Munros. Um, so we're going to see um, we're going to see how far we get along the ridge. Um, so here we go. There's a few. There's a uh, Krieg Mime, which is Rock of the Rounded Hill. There's Drun Shinak, which is the Ridge of the Fox. There's Anok uh, Chris, which is the Trembling Ridge Hill. That sounds a bit trembly. Um, there's Macklin Derg, which is the Bald Red Head, and I've done one of the, a Bald Red Head before, so I'm um, not sure. The Skurg Ang Dori Lathan, which is the peak of the Broad Thicket. Um, the Skurg and Lochran, which is peak of the Little Loch, and then there's Kriag and Dashk, the, the Rock of Stags. So we've got a lot to go at. Hopefully we'll do all seven, but as I say, if the weather really comes in, we've got an option at the fourth one to come come back off the hill. I'm parked at the uh, little car park near Cluane Inn, and um, we're going to get going. A rutting season started and all the stags are coming down. He's not going anywhere, is he? Wow. So we're following this track around the mountain making height ever so slowly. So we've been on this track for four miles since the road and they've uh, come to a cairn, a right turn and a, and a track. So this is the one. Um, so we're gonna head up here and I think there's another turn right again ever so shortly. So we're just coming up to a cairn marking the, uh, the junction. Two paths, we're sticking right. Heading up here. Over the top, I would imagine the uh, summits beyond the uh, big hill you can see there. The path, very kind, zigzags, taking a lot of the gradient out, making your hike at a reasonable gradient. Bit of a panel, some weather coming in by the looks of it. Hopefully, the forecast was wrong and we get a decent weather all day, but. We will see. So here we are, Kriag Main. Just holding off that rain. Do with less cloud. That was a bit of a slog. First one. So I'm dropping off the first, and we've just had, believe it or not, a snow shower. Absolutely freezing wind just coming all of a sudden and uh, nithered. So here we are, Drum Shoniak. Look at that, isn't that fabulous? With ro rainbow just behind it. Perfect timing. So there's the next Monroe, Anak Air Christ, along the ridge line. My mate Jeff's still with me. It's a, a good uh, a good one to have a mate with this one because we parked a car at each end of the ridge. So uh, otherwise you're relying on public transport. This is a special view, isn't it? Wow. I think that's the top up there. It stopped raining and snowing at least. For now anyway. So here we are, Anak Air Critch. A look at some of these views. Bit of a slog up that one. So we're just just dropping off the third Munro, and Jeff seems to think he can see a face in that cliffside over there. I'm not sure I can, but anyway. So the next Munro's up there in the cloud. Follow the ridge along. The thing about ridge walks in the cloud <laughs> is everything looks like it's going into nothing. <laughs> Still very scrambled. 
thankfully. Clouds lifted thankfully, so we're following the ridge still round. Next one rose in the cloud over there. Jeff just scrambling down this uh, last section. Nearly at the col. And we've got the uh, the next climb. Just looking back now, the sun's come out. That's what I couldn't see when I was in the uh, the cloud earlier. So we've we've traversed across that ridge. Isn't that fabulous? And uh, we're down at the col now. And the, the, the next Monroe's right up there. Just peeping out the cloud. The cloud's just lifted and I can see the summit of the fourth Monroe. So not far to go now. Just follow this ridge line up. Number four. Here we are, Mail Chin Dirk. Monroe number four. Wow, that's Monroe number three over there. So you can see the ridge line we've dropped down and Come on. So the weather's taking a turn for the worst, but I'm persevering. Um, just stopped raining again, and when it rains, it rains really heavy, really short, heavy showers. So I'm on row number five up in the cloud. Looks quite steep. Let's get on with it. That's really tough. Probably the toughest one yet. Uh, still been following these uh, fence posts for ages. They're all stubs of fence post up here, but very, very steep, but tough climb. Nearly, nearly at the summit. So here I am, skirt and dart with eight. Wow, we not number five. I hope the next two are as tough as that, because that was a slog, the real slog. So the clouds clearing. As I'm heading across this ridge to uh, the next one round, there's an eagle flight flying above it. Your lens probably won't make out. What oh, a shame. So here we are, skirt and blocker. That's where we've come from. That was Munro number five. This is six. And over there in the distance is Munro number seven. Just dropping off the six month row. I'm almost at the bottom of the col and I can see there's a bypass pass. Um, the bypass skirting that corbit, which means I don't have to climb over the corbit which I'd planned on doing. So that saved me a bit of time and take me straight to the last one row. So there she is, that's the last one of the day. Need to uh, make light words of it and get down to the car before it gets dark. Wow, look at that. Krag Nam Dam. That backdrop, the ridges we've just come over. Isn't that fabulous? There's actually uh, two high points. The afternoon sun, or evening sun should I say now, on these mountains. Casting shadow. Isn't that fantastic? This is awesome. And there's another high point there, which I've been to, and I can't decide which one's the highest. Wow. This is something special. Seven Munros. One ridge, one day. Awesome. Can you spot the dog? <laughs> well, just as you think you're done and you're heading down, you've got this scramble to contend with. <laughs> it's all you need with tired legs. Anyway, let's get on with it. Yeah, it's still not over. We've still got the ridge to scramble across. We're following that dry stone wall, then drop down to the col and hopefully pick up a stalker's path. I've eventually picked up this stalker's path. Well, I think it's a stalker's path. It's not the one that's shown on the OS map, but uh, it's running in a similar direction. The guidebook said, difficult to find at first well it's right <laughs> it is difficult to find but uh, I am on a faint track now hopefully I'll uh, I'll end up on a better track I can see one further down the glen heading to the road so a way to go yet though it's been extremely difficult to get down that's all I can say it's so 
slippy and wet. You can see how black the rock is with the rain we've had. Um, the path is really faint, so it disappears. Um, here we go, we're, we're heading down here. We're probably going to cross the burn and pick up a better stalker's path. Very, very tricky descent. Today I walked route number 61. It's Wednesday the 29th of September. Uh, there was two of us, Jeff was with me, and we parked the cars um, at the start and the finish of the uh, the, the walk. Um, so two separate places on the A87. Um, uh, I have to say, uh, let me start with the weather. Uh, we have had everything today. I've had sunshine, I've had snow, I've had sleet, I've had hail, more sunshine, I've had gales. It, it, it's uh, it, it's been one of those days. Um, fabulous day though, fantastic views. Uh, ridge walks are always good. This was uh, a bit special. Uh, it started off with a really nice approach track, um, but once about four miles in, um, once you got there, then the gradient quickly uh, quickly rose, um, zigzagged up to the uh, top of the first man row. Um, yeah, I think I think I seem to remember looking for the top, which is, normally I don't look for a top, but so it must have gone on a little bit longer than I was expecting. Um, the second man row was very quick actually. Um, I was surprised how how quickly we got to it. Uh, which lulled me into a false sense of uh, security, thinking, oh, the day's going to be quite easy. And it turns out anything but. Um, and all the real fun started on the third run row. There was a lot of scrambling up and down. Um, uh, and, uh, and then uh, it just continued all the way through. Uh, it, it, in fact, it, it, as the Monroes went, went by, it seemed to get harder and harder. Um, even the seventh Monroe, which was uh, considerably lower than um, the uh, fifth and sixth, uh, there was no respite, and uh, there was scrambling again. A very rough path. Uh, great views again, though, and um, and I, I, I remember thinking, well, I'm glad that's done now. And um, when, when as soon as you drop off it, you've got another. Um, Another scramble, you drop into a little um, little valley type thing, and uh, you've got to climb immediately out up a cliffside, <laughs> and uh, and then you're following a very very rocky ridge again. So you're still ridge walking. So um, uh, the day just didn't let up. I thought that I thought the descent back to the A87 was extremely difficult. It was difficult enough. Uh, it was very, very rocky underfoot, very slippy, very boggy, uh, and and uh, I was tired by the time I got to the uh, to the car. Uh, tough day out, but you know seven Monroes in one day is always going to be a tough day out. Um, but it was it was a special day. It's always special on a ridge. I thoroughly enjoyed it. There's some awesome views. Uh, the day itself was 18 miles. It took me ten and a half hours, and there was five thousand seven hundred and sixteen feet of ascent. Massive. 